pic taken weeks before attack shows horrifying warning put in exact spot where terrorists struck. Americans were awoken once again to the realities of what Barack Obama's refugee program really brought into the country when what President Donald Trump had warned about came to fruition. As most people in the country were getting ready to take their costume children out to celebrate Halloween, the real horror hit when a lone wolf terrorist mowed down pedestrians in Lower Manhattan, using a rented U-Haul truck as his weapon. However, in the exact spot where he struck bicyclists and killed them, something else had been put in that spot just weeks before this bloody massacre. That chilling photo has now emerged, showing a terrifying sign that was ignored and now it's too late. Eight people are dead and at least 15 left wounded after 29-year-old Saiflo Saipov did what he came to America on a diversity visa to do. The motive for his attack was immediately known, no matter who wants to dance around the facts, as he had previously pledged his allegiance to the Islamic State and stated that pledge in a note found within hours of his arrest. Saipov had planned out this attack and knew exactly where he wanted to do it as the specific spot where he declared jihad and shouted Allahu Akbar yesterday had been photographed days earlier for a terrifying reason. The Daily Mail reports. A chilling photograph of an ISIS logo on a cell phone was taken just weeks ago in the exact spot where the Manhattan truck attacker mounted a bike path killing eight, it has emerged. The image, posted two months ago shows a man holding a phone on the corner of Houston Street and West Street in Manhattan with skyscrapers including One World Trade Center in the background. On Tuesday, at the same spot, terrorist Saiflo Saipov drove a hire truck onto West Side Highway before plowing down pedestrians and cyclists along a bike path. According to the respected site group which monitors terror activity, the image appeared two months ago. It is not known who was holding the phone in the original photograph. While ISIS has not claimed responsibility for the attack, it is reported that propaganda from the terror group was found inside his truck. The country is too politically correct and it's killing people because obvious warnings like this are being ignored as to not offend or profile people. Trump stopped the refugee program and put travel bans in place for the very reason of preventing what happened yesterday. Liberals have fought tooth and nail to reverse it, with some sick success, and now we're paying the price for it. Even Muslims are seeing how dangerous Democrats have become in their divisiveness and hate for the president. A popular imam had warned New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio of terror threats he was aware of in his community, but like this photo, they went ignored. The reason for that makes it even worse as the imam pointed out that de Blasio spent all his energy and resources in trying to bring down President Trump and not Islamic extremists, 100% fed up reported. All of this could have been prevented if de Blasio and other liberals weren't so obsessed with taking down Trump and focus their attention on actual threats and issues. ISIS had also issued a propaganda poster earlier in the day calling for attacks on Halloween, though it featured an image of Paris rather than New York. Mail Online explained. Saipov's method also has all the hallmarks of an ISIS attack, which the group has touted in its monthly magazine, including using a rented vehicle, leaving propaganda inside, and following up the vehicle attack with secondary weapons. Daily Mail has more on the attack and the terrorists' connections to ISIS that liberals are trying to cover up. After mowing down pedestrians and cyclists, Saipov crashed his vehicle into a school bus before running down the highway holding fake guns. It was there that he was shot in the stomach by a member of the NIPT before being arrested and taken to hospital, where he is now being questioned. ISIS often does not claim attacks where the perpetrator was arrested, not killed. Pro-ISIS channels have also been sharing propaganda praising the New York terror attacker after he killed eight people in Manhattan yesterday. Posters commemorating the attack were uploaded online featuring images of the Statue of Liberty exploding and pictures of the carnage caused by 29-year-old Uzbek terrorist Saiflo Saipov. While some praised Saipov's actions, calling him a brother dash others mocked the low death toll and said they would have picked a bigger street. The blood of these eight people killed by this terrorist is on de Blasio's hands since he had all the signs and information and chose to keep his attention on Trump. Now the president who he and others in his party hate so much is now going to take action to stop this from happening again. 
if they still try to reverse that course and every move he makes against Islamic terrorism, then liberals are no different than the terrorists themselves, themselves.